A lot of people do impulsive things. They just go with their moves. I used to do that. Once I was able to control my mind, I was able to control my actions. I'm always thankful for the stuff I went through and thankful for the people I've met, and I'm thankful even for some of the bad times because all of it helps get you to wherever you are in your life. I'm adopted by my uncle and aunt, who I look to as my parents and people who really did everything they could to put me on the right path. I'm really grateful to them. Not too many people have my story. And this is my story. A guy goes from unknown to a Heisman Trophy finalist. He gets kicked out of school. He absolutely rebounds himself. He becomes a millionaire. He's taking care of his family. And then he's getting injured. Many times I looked in the mirror and didn't see anything. Couldn't see anything. I didn't see anything in the mirror. It was me, but I didn't truly know my soul, my spirit. LSU is the only fan base that truly knows they're on. I couldn't play for another school. I just couldn't do it. I wouldn't have given my all a plane for another school. I was only going to give my all for LSU. Big time college ball is a business, and they work you to death. You're in the gym at 7 a.m., got classes all morning, then five hours of practice a day. I've got two parents, I don't ride around with guns, and I've never put my hands on a woman. But the only team that believed me was the Cardinals. I want people who go through tough times, hard times, or didn't have everything right things didn't fall in their lap or go in their favor to know that they can still achieve their dream and go to the highest of the highs. It makes you grateful. It makes you humble that you have the opportunity to be a father and be there for your son. My father wasn't, so I just try to do the right things for my son. I have a Yorkie named King. Just the relationship I've developed with him is special. He really is somewhat of a best friend. When I come home from a hard day, he's always happy to see me. I'm always moving around. It's hard for offenses to get a grip on what I'm doing or where I'm at. I'm surrounding myself with people who want to do what I want to do, which is be a football player. It's just the vibe I got when I landed in New Orleans. The culture is absolutely different. It's so dangerous, I tell you, I fly in and I fly out of town. That's how scared I am. And this is where I came from. I've lived my whole life trying to prove that I'm worthy of being a part of something because I never really felt that. But, most of the time it takes people to hit rock bottom for them to start believing in themselves, and start seeking help. Most people try to isolate themselves and pretend like things are all good when a lot of times, that's not how it is. I want to start a foundation called Second Chance. I was given a second chance, so I want to reach out to different groups of people. It would be nice to give that opportunity to others. You will never see Lil Ween in New Orleans. You will never see those type of guys in New Orleans because the hate and the jealousy is that real and it's that overwhelming. The best show I went to was probably Currency. I went to see him when I was at LSU. He's a mellow rapper, but he has a way with crowds and his fans follow him wherever he goes.